Mesothelioma The Best Treatment Options Malignant mesothelioma is the most serious of all asbestos-related diseases. Exposure to asbestos is the primary cause and risk factor for mesothelioma. Making a correct mesothelioma diagnosis is particularly difficult for doctors because the disease often presents with symptoms that mimic other common ailments. There is currently no known cure for mesothelioma, but treatments such as surgery and chemotherapy can help to improve the typical mesothelioma prognosis and even increase one's life expectancy. The cavities within the body encompassing the chest, abdomen, and heart are surrounded by a membrane of cells known as the mesothelium. Mesothelial cells assist in general organ functions. The mesothelium is particularly important to organs that are commonly in motion, such as expansion or contraction of the lungs, stomach, or heart. Lubrication from the mesothelial cells allows free range of motion within the body. The mesothelium of the chest, abdomen, and cardiac cavity are called the pleura, the peritoneum, and the pericardium, respectively. Each of these groupings of mesothelial cells is extremely critical to the functions of the body structures which they encompass. Malignancies, cancerous tumors, occurring within the mesothelial membranes are known as malignant mesothelioma, or simply mesothelioma. Benign tumors of the mesothelium are known to occur, but are much more rare than malignant mesothelial tumors. Malignant mesothelioma is a disease in which malignant, cancer, cells form in the lining of the chest or abdomen. Being exposed to asbestos can affect the risk of malignant mesothelioma. Signs and symptoms of malignant mesothelioma include shortness of breath and pain under the rib cage. Tests that examine the inside of the chest and abdomen are used to detect, find, and diagnose malignant mesothelioma. Certain factors affect prognosis, chance of recovery, and treatment options. Mesothelioma Treatment While no cure currently exists, mesothelioma patients can improve their prognosis through various treatments, including surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and experimental therapies tested in clinical trials. There are five primary types of treatment for mesothelioma. Surgery Depending on the location and stage of the cancer, and the health of the patient, tumors may be able to be removed through surgery. Surgical options are available for both curative and pain relief purposes for all types of mesothelioma. Recovery from surgery can last several weeks. Radiation One of the oldest mesothelioma treatments, radiation techniques can target and shrink tumors to make other treatments more effective. Radiation therapy can be used before and after surgery to help shrink tumors and kill remaining cancer cells in a specific area of the body. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is an effective and viable form of treatment viable for patients with all four stages of malignant mesothelioma. With chemotherapy, cancer cells are prevented from growing and multiplying throughout the body. Experimental Treatment Clinical trials that test newer therapies like immunotherapy and phototherapy can prove effective if other options are exhausted. Clinical trials offer patients access to emerging treatments such as immunotherapy treatments, gene therapy and photodynamic therapy. Palliative Treatment Additional techniques and therapies can treat the symptoms of mesothelioma to help ease patient pain and suffering. Aggressive surgical treatments combined with chemotherapy and radiation have increased the life expectancy of many patients. Conventional treatments for mesothelioma involve surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. As with most solid tumors, doctors turn to surgery, radiation and chemotherapy to manage mesothelioma. When exploring the various treatment options available with your doctor it is important to be informed about the risk and benefits of each one before making a final decision. Surgery Much debate exists as to which surgery is more effective, although studies show that most long-term survivors have undergone some form of surgery. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy, also known as systemic therapy 
uses oral or infusion-based medications to kill cancer cells throughout your body. Chemotherapy is used both before and after surgery, as well as in people who do not undergo surgery. Radiation Radiation can be an important part of mesothelioma treatment. The problem is that because the cancer is near the heart and lungs, it's challenging to provide the kind of high-dose, intensive therapy needed to shrink the tumor. Home Remedies Celandine belongs to poppy family and is cultivated in various regions of Europe and subarctic Asian regions. The juice, leaves and roots of this plant are utilized for medicinal purposes and can be used as tea, tincture and powder. The root of the herb can be administered orally in the form of tea or as powder. This herb along with chemotherapy can cure the tumors of this painful medical condition, increases the immunity level, and lowers the toxic effects of chemotherapy in patients. Cat's claw has great antioxidant properties that can flush out the toxins and rejuvenates the damaged cells. You can prepare the tea using the bark of the cat's claw.